Okay, so let's talk about some important electric motor maintenance if you have a uh, brushed motor specifically. Now, um, I removed one of the brushes from this motor, and uh, this is what they look like. And uh, these do get worn, and you will have to replace them. That's why, um, you know, this is a required maintenance thing because uh, this is what helps the uh, motor function. So, um,. They get worn and stuff like that, and it's easy to replace these. So, and uh, typically nowadays, a lot of cars they just have brush lists and they're maintenance free practically. So, and this is an older brush motor. So, if you have an RC truck like I do, then uh, you know you, there's a chance that it's brushed. So, uh, in order to remove the brushed motor, the first thing you need to do is there's a there's like a little. Uh, latch right there and there's a spring a little holding tension on it so shut up guinea pig <laughs> he, he's being a spaz and then all you gotta do is push this arm out and up and over on the spring and then just simply lift up and pull it out and remember the orientation of this of course and now after you've done that take your Phillips head screwdriver that you do need actually. Remove the screw. And now your brush is now ready to be removed. And now the motor is brushed free. So um, how to install them is straightforward. It's just like the opposite of what the steps that you did. Replace the Place the new brushes back in. I prefer to make sure that they're seated in there. Get the screw aligned. Okay. Tiny little screws. Screw it in. Once it's screwed in nice and tight, take your spring place it place the uh, bent part on there for in my case anyways which was on the brush place it in there lift the main coils up and over on there so it should look like something like this right now and then you just want to simply pull that spring all the top the other part of the spring all the way up and over and that'll put tension on the spring or on the uh, brush so now I'm going to do the same thing for the other side. And um, yeah, while I'm doing this, I want to mention to you guys a few things. I have a another YouTube channel. It's called I Explode Raccoons. Um, it's one of my more successful channels. I have almost 150 subscribers. So. Um, yeah, if you guys can go check it out, um, I have engine tutorials on there, um, and I've been doing this thing called the YouTube Orbit, and it's a video a day for an entire year. So, um, and most of those pertain to engine work anyway, so, you know, if you guys are into that, go check it out. I also have other videos on there, stuff like that, so, uh, yeah, go check it out. And I also have a blog, it's called jaredsbudgetbuild.blogspot.com. And uh, if you can, just go check it out and, uh, you know, click on the ads to help support me. So, uh, yeah. Now, anyways, reinstall the spring, coil. Let's get the coil arm on. Push it down, up, over. And uh, now you've replaced the brushes in an electric RC motor. This is a stock one that came out of the uh, um, Team Associated RC10 T2. So, and check it and make sure the motor spins correctly. And it feels like it does. So cool. And that's how you replace motor brushes. And go check out that uh, stuff that I told you to. So, and uh, later.